Good night of Shabbos, uh, Parsha's Bolak. So this week's Parsha is by Yar Bolak Ben Sipper, Skalav Shalos Yisro Lamoidi. Bolak Ben Sipper saw everything that Yisro get into Amoidi. Amoidi is a, um, it's just uh, another Umazet, it's another trigger, it's another um, opposition that is here to bring awareness to how to, it, it's just a, in a way to trigger the light, to trigger the positivity. Everything is a trigger. And as we know that the logs in the in the fire is what makes up the fire, that is what triggers how the fire should show up, how the fire should, uh, should burn. So too, um, now going in from Chaymer, physical, into more Ruach, spirit, from that place is where you, you can the 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 the, the logs are the opposition, my gavuras, triggering the light to bring out my fullest potential. And that's really where we want to be because just the way all my emotions and my negative feelings are also just emotions, not much was done physically, just an emotion. It's an energetic connection that's blocking me. So too um looking at the the opposition as energetic and then my positive as energetic that too uh, should overcome uh, should overcome that the, it's here to trigger and bring out the uh, the, the best my, the, big, the biggest possibility the, the possibility of my potential fullest potential so last week Vishma Kanani that on um, that on uh, passed on, and what happened was is that a level of protection was removed, which means that somebody else was there doing the work for us, holding the space, and then that was removed physically, and Kanani thought that um, the Eden are exposed, so he went to, uh, he went to war, and everybody was killed with Yicharev. Yicharev means that by the sword, um, which means that head on with your incoming, head on with what what's holding you back. Just get to the point, to it, of it, head on with it, by rising above it or whatever. Just first, we'll go with that. So when Bullock saw that, of course, clearly he uh, the consciousness started becoming scared because of fear of cease to exist. Because once we zoom in on it, exactly where it hurts, it's not some expansion all over the place like the rays of the sun, but I'm going to the source of it. Once I zoom in, then I can I bring light to it, and it's not there anymore. So he panicked. Panicking looks like um, as I'm about to, as change is happening, um, I'm tapping into again to to different fears and judgments, going back to it. There's a panic because that part of the ego is about to cease to exist. So, moving on, there is um, Bilam had a relationship with his with his chamar, with his donkey, which is there is we have to generate flow, we have to generate energy. Now you can choose. Now you can generate it from from the other side with uh, not positive thoughts. Or we can tap into the right side and generate um, feed from positivity. Feed from positivity. Give, keep checking into the possibilities, feeling it, moving forward with it, a compliment, tzedakah, all that stuff, mindfulness, uh, th- uh, thankfulness, you know, gratitude, a lot of gratitude. That's where it's at. Arna Kohen. See, that's what it was when he, Arna is hoid. So when he passed away, he passed on. There was a level of hida sweetening it constantly, constantly sweetening it. The varimkat, chasidish varimkat, constantly sweetening it. Uh, once they lost, we lost that. They thought that it's over, but really it's within us, because um, we have something that, um, as we're gonna say soon, which is Bilam uh, is is pointing this out to us. Bilam is pointing this out. Our possibility. He becomes the logs. And we, um, 
and like this, it triggers the fire. I'm not busying myself with what per se what he's saying. Rather, I'm going with what the other side of the message is, what other possibilities coming out from me. So we cover this um, the donkey. So you want to definitely generate from the positive because clearly you see where the other um, where the other side is. Other side is low low conscience. So as Bilam is tapping in and is becoming sort of a, what we call an avua, he was a, a navi, uh, but he had to generate from negativity. He he goes all the way up to to the highest level and he's where he maxes out and he's like, wait, these these chevra are coming from a place that's so high up from the top of the mountain. Yeah, from the big, uh, the big Hanum, the big, the big mountains, the giants. And we are one. We are we are one. We are a nation that is uh, that 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 is alone. It's alone, constantly being uh, triggered, constantly throughout generations and all that. That is once again, instead of I can go into the other side of it, stay in the in the in the blame or get triggered into where do I need to be when I'm in peace? Where do I need to activate to be in peace? How does the flow, how did the flow decide today to come down, to flow in, to veil, to veil through me? Positive flow, not not positive flow. Not positive flow is a spin, and then I need to find myself in alignment where I unspin myself, and that is that is high conscious Ebishta coming through you. Dvaravaya, vibration, Dvaravaya comes through you energetically. And if you start letting that flow, um, then that's what's going to be coming back constantly. Nimon Afar Yaakov, who can count the the Shtoyp and Yaakov and Misper Esrov Yisrael? It's um, because we have Bechira and we have we have the Koyach to create. So one good deed just multiplies. It's endless. It doesn't end. You just need to tune into that. So you're uh, by tapping into your possibilities, you're tapping into your positive side to your mitzvahs. Um, okay, and here we see that um, the Rishon came to Bilam and Vayasam Dover Befiv Yemashiv Shuvel Bolag Yichoyse Davis. So says Rashi, he didn't want to speak because he figured he was embarrassed to say that he's going to have to give the brachas again. But the Rishon said, "You're going to say exactly as I tell you." So once again, we see. Um, so Rashi explains that they put in like he forced him to speak. So Choshech has no, Choshech is just a, it's just a dummy. It's just there as a Choik to get you into your higher self, to start pushing for where you need to push, to get out and just glide and be out. That's what the Choshech is there for. That's what the logs are there for. So um, it's not there for me to harp on it. To get stuck in it. That's why they created all the psychology, so we can figure out how to find, how to permanently stay stuck in there. So there, there is a, there is a choishel, is a clipper, and then they built a system that figured out how to best activate this and flow, let this clipper flow. Um, but this week's parsha is there's an name for it. I think a chasidus. Okay, I'm going to remember. I'm going to, I'm going to put it out. i got to ask as a parsha for it before I say it. I have to check it. Um, Geula or something. Yeah, big Geula stuff over here. So um, this week's parsha is a massive trigger. It shows us exactly where our koyach is. And the three days that uh, that Bilam, I think it says three days, that period that he wanted to curse uh, the Eden, he was trying to be machavim when there is a gavuris um, once a day, and uh, though that time there was no gavuris, why? Eivshter didn't get upset, so to speak, because he triggered the the harim gavayim. He triggered the top mountains because he brought he he went with the with the log so far and so high that the fire was burning all the way to the top. He tapped in all the Avram Yitzchigankov, which is Akeda. Which is Akid, it's connected all the way to the top. Um, as as Chasidus explains, from 
from Atmos of this creator himself. That's what uh, that's what reflects through to us. That's what we can connect to. So um, yeah, it's also the mime we learned uh, by the women's year, which was um, about uh, tsoya, tsoya, switching the words from tsoya to uh, tsoya to ratsa to tsoya, which is with the the Friedi Grebe starts off the mime by saying that matoyi um, mishkan sechli yakov. He's saying exactly that that from from what Bilam, uh, from what he was saying, from the curses we understand the brachas. Um, but he was forced to say the bracha. So from the brachas, we know what he tried to to pull at. Matavish Knesech Yankov, how amazing is it? Our dwelling places that we have within us. So on and so forth. So uh, to tap in, to find Legede Koyach, to um, have enough compassion, that should be Hoda. Tap into the Hoda from Arna Koyim within you. <clears throat> to be, um, have gratitude trick yourself into a positive place by thanking yourself by by you know connecting to self connecting to self means just if i have a choice to be um in in upset or or not uh present i choose to let go and i choose to just be present um so we should have the courage to do that and finally turn on and, and switch the vibration and the cells and the body to to just vibrate a positive flow. And um, exactly from Bilam and Balak, from all that, from all the spins that you're experiencing, which is all those forces, that should take you and raise you up into uh, Nasher mode. Have an awesome Shabbos. And... Um, yeah, should be uh, Lachaim.